we're going to talk about Ryan Coogler getting detained uh, in bank robbery mix-up that, quote, should never have happened. Um, so if you guys don't know, Ryan Coogler uh, was the director of the of the movie Black Panther, the, the Marvel movie Black Panther. He also did Creed, the movie uh, where Michael B. Jordan plays uh, Apollo Creed's son, who is trained by uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, from Rocky, mm -hmm. right? So he's a very talented director, Fruitvale Station, very popular. Uh, it says uh, Oscar nominated filmmaker Ryan Coogler, which is, by the way, I love that last name. Coogler is just the coolest sounding. It's so close to Cougar. Uh, I feel like you want to be the Coogler, the <laughs> Coogler High School Cougars. Oh, I think it's so super cool. cool that he's the one who was the director of Black Panther because his name sounds so from, uh, similar to a Cougar. Because yeah. Black Panther and Cougar. Why couldn't try to Panth a guy with the last name Panther have made it? So it says that he's the creative okay. mind behind Creed and Marvel's Black Panther said he has moved on from the January run in with authorities that, quote, should never have happened. The 35 year old director was detained in Atlanta on January 7th when a Bank of America employee thought he was attempting to rob the bank, according to an Atlanta Police Department report obtained Wednesday by The Times. The Fruitvale Station director, who is in Georgia to film the highly anticipated Black Panther sequel, Wakanda Forever, was detained at the bank after trying to make a transaction of more than $10,000. Thousand dollars, IRS gonna come for you when you make those uh, financial transactions more than ten grand. I actually have no idea if that's true. It's just mm -hmm. that's a common trope. It's a pretty it, high number. I mean, a, I'm sure there's not like someone who walks in every day and is like, maybe there are. It's like a good. common trope in like any cop or movie or show where like any any transaction made over ten grand uh, is flagged by the IRS or mm -hmm. something like that. It says uh, Coogler had. Now I want to say Cougar. Damn you two. Uh, Coogler had apparently written a We're note. Messing on... him up, miracle. Soon enough, it'll just be the two of us. <laughs> yep. Coogler had apparently written uh, a note on the back of his withdrawal slip, asking the bank teller to be discreet. The bank employee, who is described in the report as a pregnant black female, I don't. I mean, actually, I know the relevance of why they included that in here, but I, I just hate that it has to be relevant. Uh, because if it wasn't, there would be a racism angle being played why here. Why right? Be discreet. Uh, be. They go on. Okay. So it says, uh, from what I understand, the idea is that you don't want somebody counting out because he's, he's making it out to cash and he doesn't want them counting out 10, 12 grand worth of money in front of them, putting it into a bag and then him leaving because it makes him a, a target to be I feel like ripped they, off. Sure, but I feel like bank employees have enough common sense to figure that out on their own. Well, and... he apparently didn't think so. <laughs> so the bank employee who was described in the report as a pregnant black female then received an alert notification from Coogler's account, consultant, consulted her manager, and called 911. Uh, TMZ... She okay... received an alert notification? Yes, from his uh, from Coogler's account, and then consulted her manager. TMZ included a, uh, obtained a photo of Coogler at the bank and reported that he had arrived wearing sunglasses and COVID-19 mask. We're going to go over to the next one. We'll come back to this article mm -hmm. so you can see the picture. So he comes in with his mask on and his sunglasses and his beanie and they just assume the worst. And they get a picture of the note here. It says, I would like to withdraw $12,000 cash from my from my checking account. Please do not make, uh, uh, please do not do the money counter. Uh, please do the money count somewhere else. I'd like it to be discreet. Is what he wrote on the slip. Makes perfect sense. Uh, to me, that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want it to be obvious. Uh, and then we're going to go back to the article. We'll come back to this one. Uh, it says, uh, uh, a spokesperson for the Atlanta... Okay, uh, they quote the note here, what he just said. It says, when officers arrived, the questions in an, uh, they questioned and detained another man driving the film producer's SUV and a woman who was a passenger. The SUV was parked in front of the bank and had its engine running. I'm literally getting vibes of like the... They thought he was like trying to make a getaway or something. Like it's this is... You can understand where this didn't recognize This is the perfect him. storm of things going wrong for these cops. I, I like... Well, like, and like for this guy where yeah. it's like, I understand what he's doing, but it's also like, but you can understand where they yeah. thought. And um, to be fair, he didn't make a huge deal out of it. He yeah. said he's moved on. It says it, It's also said that a sergeant responded to the call determined that the incident is a mistake by Bank of America and that Mi Mr. Coogler was mistake never... By Bank of America, says the cop. Yes. Don't look at us. Don't look at look us. Look at Bank of, of America. America. That's B A N K. <laughs> <laughs> says, and Mr. Coogler was never in the wrong and was immediately taken out of handcuffs. Uh, the man and woman in Coogler's car were also released, and the three of them were given an explanation of the incident as well as an apology for the mistake made by Bank of America. That's B-A-N-K. Okay. Uh, the report says, so Coogler also requested the names as well as the badge numbers of the officers on the scene. Uh, that sucks. I mean, I get it. He did the, he, he's, 
playing it safe, and he's like, you know. Oh yeah, he, I asked for cops badge. Yeah, he, maybe. Well, he, not that I interact with him that often, but like but whenever like, I need to, I do. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. he did the right thing. He asked for him, but it sucks that that has to be a, a thing because uh, things happen. Uh, the situation should never have happened. Kugler said uh, on Wednesday, on a in a Wednesday statement to the Times. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction, and we have moved on. It literally was the which perfect... is like a very like neutral good yes. you know what i mean yep so i, just... I do have to say though like uh, that being like yeah. i've got a car waiting outside could you count the money and just i want to be discreet about it like i do feel like that poor teller must have been like what is happening yeah. and then to get an alert that's like telling her not to do it i don't know they don't really say what the alert means they don't really explain like, it uh what the, what i the don't know means. I, I most likely it flags anything of a certain amount or higher i assume um, yeah and, and plus taking twelve thousand dollars out is a lot of money twelve thousand uh, dollars cash, in the, cash of the day? in the middle of the day that's a lot of money like I don't know. And, and when i was when i was looking at this as like uh, i i didn't end up using that article but there was another article where it's like they said that he explained to the bank uh, to the uh, to the police to their satisfaction, like why he wanted the money. I'm like, you don't have to explain to them shit. If it's your money, you don't have to explain to anybody what you want to do with your, you shouldn't have to explain to anybody what you want to do with your Maybe money. Maybe they had him do that to be like, are you being held hostage? Are you okay, man? Yeah. Why mm -hmm. do you need $12,000 do right now? Do you have like kids? Yeah, like did your did your wife get taken? Like and, those and, people in the car, like do you want to go with them? Yeah, mm -hmm. like so you can see where both sides have a reasonable argument to be made. Like there's something fishy going on here, not because anybody means anything negative by it, but it's just so far outside of uh, what normally happens on a normal day at the bank. Yeah. This lady has a fantastic I mean, story I to tell. I mean, I feel bad for him in the sense that that must be, like, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if it's embarrassing, but, like, you know, frustrating and yeah. things like that. But on the other hand, for the bank employee, like, I do think that this certain amount of, like, it's a very unusual interaction and banks really prefer when things are very play it safe usual yeah mm -hmm. play it safe so i just uh i, I M miracle could you ever imagine this happening to you going to the bank and uh, uh taking out 12 grand no but i remember somebody tried to give us um so when i used to work at a convenience store somebody wanted change for a hundred dollars and mm -hmm. it was a fake yeah and i was looking at it so you know how like bank tellers or like other places where they check money often mm -hmm. so we have two ways to check it we have the pen the pen and then the uv light mm -hmm. to check the watermark so i looked at the watermark and i was like somebody drew in ben franklin on this bill and i was like Maybe they, I'm imagining it. They and give then, him a mustache to make him look all funny. No, no, like it looked like basically they only copied the outline part. That's it. They didn't add any okay. details or anything. And then after that, I checked because in the UV light, there's a part where you can check the yeah. the metal strip to see if it's like magnetic or not to yeah. see if it's real. Or, um, I also checked that it didn't work, so I called my coworker over to see. And she was like, it looks fine to me. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And no, I was like, doesn't. sir, I have to keep this because this is not a real bill. And he's like, no, I want it back. And I was like, legally, I can't. And like, he took it out of my hand and then went to a different store to try to do the same thing. Interesting. So uh, I I didn't know like you legally couldn't. I worked at a gas station for years and I never. Uh, in California, you're supposed to keep it and report it right away. Okay. I mean, we reported it when it would happen mm -hmm. um, usually. But... Well, they don't want it in circulation. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's it. like becoming accidentally an accessory. Well, it ain't my job, uh, Mr. Minnesota is like, wait a minute. What gas station did you work at? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, uh, well, well, no, like cause that, that's, I mean, we people try to pass fake bills all the time. But yeah, and... if I was working at a bank teller like that. Uh, um, that would alarm me a mm -hmm. little bit. Like he's wearing a mask. Well, he's, and he writes a note. That's what somebody does when they're about to rob discreet. a bank. Yeah, like, especially exactly. asking him to be discreet. I feel like that's the bank, the bank robber word. Be discreet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I don't know. That would freak me out a little bit. But like at the same time, like I have dealt with situations where people try to give us fake bills. Like this one time, this guy tried to pay for lottery tickets. It went over, I think two hundred dollars, and he had it all in twenties, mm -hmm. and one of them was fake. He and, might not have known about it. I mean, that, no, no, that's, he did know. How do you like, know? Like, he pretended that he didn't know. He was like, oh, no. I And, like, he was, like, really nervous because we said, we can't give you this extra ticket unless you have the real 20. We have to keep this fake one. We can give you the other tickets that you bought, but this last ticket, you can't have it unless you have the But money. how do you know that he knew just based on his... Uh, his body behavior body, his body and, language. and how he phrased the wording? And he was like, no, 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 I have the money. And we we're like, you can't have the ticket, sir. 
unless like you give us the money up front interesting like basically it was just really weird and like he, he was like no, no no i'll give you the money it's in the car and we're like well we can't give you this ticket. like we'll go get it and bring it back mm -hmm. yeah there, there was a um i because i i managed a gas station for about four years and there was a guy who <laughs> Didn't even they, he he was like a really old guy who like worked the he's been retired for like decades mm -hmm. and worked like the window at an Arby's mm -hmm. and they let this dude bring in like uh, hundreds to get change from us or uh, like or like he I'm sorry he would want to get large bills so they would take our small bills okay. like if we were trying to make uh, deposits of like that so he like we would do transactions with this guy with the arby's with the with that guy he like, okay. he like like they trusted this dude enough that they this dude was just allowed to do that he would just come he's like can i get he's like i've got a he's like i, I want to get rid of these do you have a hundred and we were always looking to get rid of you don't want to hold on to yeah you can't do anything with it it ends up just going straight to the bank i'm like i'll take your 20s if you want to so then we'd give him the hundred and then i would take uh in the in the yeah, yeah, take, yeah. yeah and then so that way you have extra change yeah. for the drawer yeah uh, and that guy would come in like every day and it was like the ba it was like from the store and then he would just and he'd been there for years mm -hmm. what if he was it like what if he was supposed to be doing that he's like, like money laundering dude, with you yeah dude well, was like, that's how... but it was real money for real money it's not like it was yeah mm -hmm. well anything... that's what good girls like have you watched that show mm -hmm. um the good girls so that's how they do it so basically that's their process of money um uh, money laundering so they had a whole scam so they got a bunch of women from their neighborhood um basically they were like oh um basically they were trying to sell tupperware like that's their whole scheme they're like you sell the tupperware and like you give them this cash, so they marked the cash with different rubber bands. Mm -hmm. So the good cash was green rubber bands, and then bad one was red, obviously. Well, well, the, and well, like fake, right? Yeah, the fake ones were yeah. the red ones. So yeah. like they'll give them the red ones, and then they told them, okay, when you get the money from the customer, put it in the green one. And they realized that one of their women, um, she didn't do it. Um, she didn't do it because she didn't make any sales. So she gave them back the fake cash with the green robe band and the gangsters that they were working with, like the gang members, they're mm -hmm. like, this is fake cash. Are you trying to screw us over? Because you still owe us money. And they were like, no, 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 no. So they went back to the woman and she was like, I'm a single mom. I, I couldn't make these sales. And they were like, you gave us fake money. And she's like, but I thought it was real money. And she basically blackmailed them. But basically maybe he could have money laundered you because but they mixed it, was, it. But it was real money from both parties. Because eh. I was get, I was. I don't know. Well, it says I was not involved in any money. Yeah. B A N K yeah. of America. It, okay, put it this way: if he was, it's like the greatest thing ever because this dude was like in his eighties. Then good for him for no, whatever he was doing. No, I don't doing. even trust old people. Ever since working at the I, convenience, I don't stores. even trust old people. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what you need on a mug. I don't even trust old people. Not even old. That's that should be a shirt as well. Sorry, I'm done. Is it because we're recording late right, that like I'm screechier and like more prone to hysterics? We should start. We should start like treating like the time we record as like an experiment and just see how different the shows become. All of our personalities change until someone who, in the comments is like, "Okay, three o'clock is your prime time." I think you guys are just just right in there at three. Like you're you're more there's more frivolity, but you're not annoying. Like that's perfect, guys. Go with three o'clock. Mm -hmm. But now. Like, <laughs> That was bad crazy, but yeah, I don't trust the old people. I don't even trust them. That's a shirt. That's, that's right up there with um, no strong opinions. <laughs> oh, that's me. This is Miracles. All right, Miracle, we're going to talk. You know how serious it is? I don't even trust old people. I, I mean, sorry, it's probably not funny to anyone but me. No, I said it. Um, I don't even Bank of America. You want Bank of America? No old people. <laughs> uh, is it time to go home? No, we're still midway into I'm this. Having, I'm having a ball, guys. I'm having a ball. But okay. no, like for real, like old people, they're they. We're moving on, man. No, 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 no. We're moving let, on. Let me say my spiel. Old people. We get it. You no, hate old it's people. It's too late. Leave it the way it we is. We get it. You 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 hate old people, and uh, it's fine. Honestly. You ended on a comedic, like, genius note. Like, there's no reason to further justify it. Okay, there. somebody will defend me or, like, all the comments will, like, go, like, I like old people. And I'm like, I can't even do it with old people. <laughs> okay, well, you heard it here first. Miracle can't do it with old people. 
like, I can't eat I don't with even trust one. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no. All right, Miracle, we're moving on. No. We're moving on. Wait, let us catch our breath a little bit. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.